What's up everybody? So, this is Russ. I am with rwgresearch.com and as always, I'm always bringing to you for free everything I possibly can and today, some really exciting stuff to give you. Um, thanks to an anonymous person, I have some drawings here of something that you'll really want to see. So, as always, please go to rwgresearch.com, check it out. Um, check out the website, see what it's all about, and give your part wherever you can. Knowledge, power, whatever you want to do, do what you can there. But here we go, let's get started. So everyone's seen these videos where Stan's holding these injectors. Alright, these are the injectors. This is what they look like. These are snapshots from videos on the internet okay those are the injectors well how do we make one of these injectors you can see this right here is the high voltage power wire going into the inside there's an electrode inside here coming all the way to the end this is where the water ionized gas and other gases exhaust gases and things could be entered here and come out the end in this high voltage field alright well I am lucky enough and this anonymous user sent this to me and said give it away so here I am I'm giving it away so thanks to the anonymous user here we go first let's get started with this this is the VIC that runs the coils it has thanks to Dino Don for sending me some of this stainless steel wire it has 430F slash FR stainless steel coated wire for the choke conductors and um, the primary we think is somewhere around 21, 22, 23 gauge and the secondary is somewhere around 38, 35 something like that AWG um, I've done some tests on this wire. I've already got wire sourced out coming. Um, test samples. So this is the actual um, bobbin. Dino Don sent me these cores. I made the bobbins and this was my first text subject. Well, now I don't have to guess. I actually have original drawings. And these will be published on my website you can find them there for free please let everyone know where you got them and again thanks to the anonymous user because he's the one who made this possible so you want to see the injector there is the injector these are original drawings these supposedly are from Stan's estate These are the individual pieces. And I actually already have the ceramic pieces sourced out. They're being made thanks to my good and new friend Buddy Allen. Thanks to Tin Man for showing him who he, who he was. And uh I've actually already got this piece made and it's coming. Um, should be coming sometime soon. So there it is. There is all the drawings of the complete assembly of the VIC and the injector. And it's good to go. It's all yours. <clears throat> It'll be posted under the water fuel cell tech over at rwgresearch.com and I'm also going to show you the um, fire pinto over at the forums I already sent him the drawings and he's already drawn these things up and I'm going to show you what it looks like and show you what he's done alright so this is just a little sneak peek of what fire pinto has already done and using some references off the open-source-energy forum on how to connect some of these wires 
The fire pendo is already drawing this VIC coil and bobbin up. Let's see if we can grab some of these parts and we'll drag them around. And you can see what the other inner workings look like here. And thanks to Fire Panel drawing these things up, he'll probably get on there and draw the injector up as well. So really cool stuff. So awesome guys. Um, I could never ever accomplish any of this stuff without everybody. This is a joint group effort. It is all open source. It will always be that way. And we're all in this together and it takes everybody's contributions in any which way they possibly can to get involved with this technology to make this a real thing. Okay, Spread it. Share it. Get involved however you can. I'm going to give you a quick quick overview excuse me, of some of the things that I've uh, built in the last year or so with the help of everybody and everything that's going on here. So the VIC injector for the injectors, the VIC for the injectors is there thanks to Don Don for the coil or the core, the magnet wire, stainless steel from Stan's estate. Um, here I built the gas gun, still in the testing phases. So there's the gas gun, and these are the two electronic pulse boxes that I've designed um, off of Stanley Myers' original circuits um, to actually pulse that and to test for resonant frequencies. Those are what we consider or call the rustic frequency generator. It's based off Stan's original circuit. I just named it different because we modified it a little, the timer's set up different, a few other things. But uh, you can go check it out right there. rwgresearch.com, open-source-energy.org. Alright, uh, the regular VIC, thanks to Sharky, uh, WebMug, a few other people, Fire Pinto for printing some stuff off, or the coils, um, the cores will be in today, so this is the Stanley Myers frequency generator and uh, VIC card and the coil will go with it um, and if no one's ever seen this this is a new video to you we've also constructed the EPG and we are starting to do test phases on making the proper gas for the EPG so if you have no idea what that is it's also another part of Stanley Myers inventions I should say Stan Myers inventions um, some of the cells here Got a box full of cells that we've been putting together thanks to help from lots of different individuals. Been able to build those. And um, yeah, so that was just kind of the broad overview of some of the things that put together and built. Um, and giving it all away for free, doing all this work because we're in this to help our, you know, world out that we're in right now. We're in a world of hurt. All of us are in the same boat. We're in the same world and uh, we've all got to do our part. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, doesn't, doesn't matter what resources you got, you know, knowledge is what you need. You need the knowledge. Come get it. It's free. rwsresearch.com, open-source-energy.org. Please check them out. Have a good day, everybody, and I hope I can give you some more really cool stuff like this, but it would never happen without getting this type of video out there to the public. So please spread this information, video, re-upload it on your own channel. That's fine. Just please reference the um, original uh, description. And yeah, so have a good one. God bless you all. And uh, yeah, man, hold your chin up high and, you know, be proud of what you're doing. And uh, just remember, if nobody does it, you know, if you don't do it, it's not going to happen. You can't just sit back and, uh, you know, cheer on somebody else. You got to get involved. Um, I can't do this by myself. Never could. Never will be able to. And uh, that includes everything. Get involved. Okay. I'm just a guy doing my thing. Trying to get uh, this world we call world uh, home. Trying to make it better. And uh, yeah. You got to get involved. Peace out guys. Peace and love. See ya. Have a good day. Oh. Always got to add something on the end. I forgot to mention that in these drawings, I don't know how we all missed it, everyone missed it. Every single one of those estate photos that everyone has, has not looked at them very well. These bobbins have 13 cavities, not 14.
this is 14 cavities but that's not accurate the drawings and the photographs show 13 cavities now here's the problem if you actually count these if you count them there's 14 but if you use the dimensions okay you have to use the dimensions it will match up to be exactly 13 cavities all right always forget to add stuff in there so there it is and I'm off. See ya.